Hello, today we are going to learn about third angle orthographic projection, which is mainly used in North and South America, and also in Australia and the United Kingdom. In this system, the object is located in the third quadrant, so the horizontal plane of the project is above the object. The position of the vertical plane of the projection is in front of the object. In this method, what you see from the left, you draw on the left, and what you see from the right, you draw on the right and what you see from above, you draw above. Okay, let's start with this numbered cube. We are going to project the three numbered faces to the corresponding planes of projection. In this animation, you can easily see each face being projected onto its corresponding plane. Imagine a bigger transparent cube in which faces are the different projections as can be seen here on the on-screen animation. Okay, so now we will continue without the solid object and just the three projections as can be seen here. If we cut this cube along the top right edge and open these three faces out to a two-dimensional shape, we will obtain the three orthographic projections in the correct position. The number one, the plan elevation or plan view. Number two is the front elevation, which is always below the plan elevation. And number three is the side elevation, also called the end view, which can be located on the right or on the left from the front elevation. Sometimes in technical drawing, the front elevation is indicated with an arrow in the isometric view, as can be seen here on the top right of the screen. Imagine another case where the face number three is indicated as the front view by an arrow, as shown here again. In this case, when we cut this cube, we are going to do it along the top left edge and open these three faces out to a two-dimensional shape. And this time, the top elevation is rotated 90 degrees clockwise and above the new front elevation, which is face number three. In this case, number two is the side elevation or the side view, which is located on the left in this case. Faces two and three are always going to be located in the same positions, but either front or side projections, depending which side the arrow indicates as the front view. If there is no arrow, you must decide which elevation is going to be the front elevation and we normally choose the side which defines the object the best. Here on screen, we show both possibilities. On the bottom right hand of the screen, you can see the symbol for the third angle projection, which represents two views of a truncated cone. If the circular view is on the right of the truncated cone, it means we are working in first angle projection. And if it is on the left, it is third ang angle projection, which we have here today. So let's continue the reasoning. In this case, instead of with a cube, with another, uh, a little bit more complicated object. As you can see here, we are going to repeat the operation of placing ourselves parallel to the projection planes. We start, as you can see, placing our viewpoint in the front of the horizontal projection plane and extracting its corresponding plan view that is projected onto the plane. We repeat the operation with the first of the vertical planes and extract its corresponding projection. Here you can see how each projection is extracted by placing ourselves parallel to the projection planes. As you can see, the lines with which it is projected in each plane are perpendicular to the plane, so it is a system of orthographic projections. Once we have the object and its three projections on the three projection planes, what we do, as you can see, is remove the object. And now we are only left with its projections on the three faces. If we cut the right edge and unfold the two projection planes, we are in front of them. You can see the three orthographic projections in the correct position. The plan view, the front elevation, always below the plan view, and the side view, which is located on the right, in this case, as indicated by the arrow. So now imagine another case where the arrow indicates the right part of the object. In this case, when we cut the three faces, we are going to do it along the top left edge and open these three faces out to a two-dimensional shape. 
and this time the top elevation is rotated 90 degrees clockwise and above the new front elevation which is the right view in this case the side elevation or the side view is located on the left hand side well that's all for today so once you understand spatially how this system of views work you will be able to face the orthographic representation of any object without any difficulty so i hope this video has helped you please press like or subscribe to our youtube channel and if you would like to you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button so until the next video thank you very much